Hello, it's June 4, 2020. I'm back at the Nature Center to check out our trees and see what's happening. I think this will probably be the last video for a while now on spring tree phenology. Um, not that things still aren't happening with our trees, they are, but I think it's time to take a break from recording and just make some observations. Some things have changed a lot in the last two weeks. The eastern redbud tree was in full bloom on May 23rd, but a week later the flowers were gone, and instead the tree was covered in leaves. In place of some of the flowers are the tree's fruits, these seed pods that will grow in size and ripen over the course of the summer. I can now see tiny acorns forming on the burr oak. The presence of these acorns means there must have been female flowers here, but I didn't see them blooming over the last few weeks. That leads me to one of the many questions that have come up as I've been making these observations. Did the female flowers emerge and open up over a few days when I wasn't here and I missed this phenophase? Or was I looking right at them but didn't realize what they were? Some tree flowers are really tiny and hard to spot, so that's possible. Either way, I'm disappointed that I missed this and I'm resolving right now to do better next spring. Then there are other questions with answers that I don't know, but probably a botanist would. For example, why do some branches on the bur oak have male flowers, the catkins, but others don't? Are the female and male flowers on separate branches? And why is it that for some trees, like the sugar maple and red oak, the phenophases seem to happen almost simultaneously over the tree, whereas for other trees there's a staggered progression over a single branch? On the sugar maple and red oak, it seemed to me that the leaf buds all broke around the same time, and leaves emerged and started increasing in size around the same time. But for the bitternut hickory, the leaf buds at the tips of the branches emerged first and grew large while farther down the branch other leaf buds still hadn't opened a few weeks later. The sugar maple didn't have flowers this year, but the eastern red bud has bloomed every year for the past few years. Why is that, and what determines how often a tree blooms? Well, I clearly have some reading to do. If you know any of the answers to these questions, please go ahead and write them in the comments for this video. I'd really appreciate it. It's been really nice to watch the onset of spring in our trees at the Cuga Nature Center, and every year that I do this, I learn something new. I hope you've had a chance to go outside wherever you are and observe trees and other plants closely. Maybe you've even signed up with the National Phenology Network and started submitting observations. I found it really rewarding to participate in their Nature's Notebook project and just to learn through observing. I hope you have too.